Your question is find the range of values of x for which 5 by 2 x square plus x minus 15 is less than 0. Just understand this. To see this, this is in the form of p by q form. p by q form. Here you can see p is nothing but it's a constant. So 5 is nothing but it's a constant. Now what we have to do, it will follow here q is at the down and the equation is at the downside. That means what? This equation will follow only this much. That is less than 0. That means here q will follow your sign. That is your less than inequality sign. Less than 0. So now we will find out the value of this only. So what we will get? We will get here. See this 2x square plus x, x minus 15. Just go for a middle term. What you will get? 2 into 15 is 30. 6 into 5 is 30. 6 minus 5 is 1. So here you will get what? 2x square plus 6x minus 5x minus 15. That is equal to 0. Go for equal to 0 first. We have to find out the value of x first. Next. 2x is common. Here you will get x plus 3. Here minus 5 is common. Again x plus 3. That is equal to 0. Now the two factors are 2x minus 5 and here comes x plus 3. That is equal to 0 now. Hmm? Now, you can see this. So what is your value of x here? x is equal to 5 by 2. And here comes x is equal to minus 3. Now you can see that here the equation is positive. That means we will get a minimum point here. Therefore, the parabola should be like this. Put the value of x there. You can see minus 3 is left of 5 by 2. So, here comes minus 3 and here comes 5 by 2. Now, they have given less than 0. That means we have to move towards the negative side. So negative side is this way, down. So here it comes again here. So therefore we can say, you can see x is greater than minus 3. Greater than minus 3. And here comes x is less than 5 by 2. Now go for the range. They have told find the range of the value. So we have to go for the range. So what is your range now? See this. X should be greater than minus 3 here. And here it comes 5 by 2. So therefore this is the range. From minus 3 to 5 by 2 is your range. 